Hello everyone, I'm gonna just interrupt this time lapse to show you guys what I'm up to with the background. I really like to get this done. Well, I wanted to get it done before February is up, but you know, February is such a short month and January is such a long month. Oh my gosh. In, anyway, besides the point, desperately trying to finish this. I'm just trying to power them out super, super quickly. I think over the last two years of doing art full time, I really learned to prioritize like what to say yes to, what to say no to, how to not squander and procrastinate. I've got two half painted, not even quarter painted pieces together. I started on this one because I just suck at landscape. So separate video coming up with that one but yeah happy with where it's all heading i'm just really excited like seeing all the pieces together yesterday i posted on instagram all the current tarot cards and they're looking very exciting and incredible all together posted that because just a little update with the tarot card project over the last two years i would like put the design elements over them but uh, i was doing it in illustrator and it was very like complicated and annoying and illustrators not really for layouts so I just transitioned everything over to InDesign I kind of here's a little insight to my process I tend to procrastinate but I procrastinate on things that just aren't as urgent as the thing that I actually need to work on it's a habit I'm trying to disrupt don't worry it plays on my mind so much but I usually work on something that's not very urgent but in the end it helps me when it comes to that stage but neither here or there the other day I transitioned all of the cards that I have been working on over to in design so like the white border is all the same uh throughout all of them like they were different weights uh the writing was all over the place the original artworks that i had scanned like some of them were in rgb some were in cmyk basically it was all a mess so i changed over everything to indesign and it's like beautiful and i've got like a master page so it's just beautiful and quick now i'm sorry if none of that makes sense to you but uh to graphic designers who are watching you'll feel a nice sense of relief i i'm gonna continue on this i'm in a nice swing with the tarot card project i feel like i'm not challenging myself too much with the subject matter or the textures the one that's really challenging me is this uh landscape but that will be up in another video so let's get back to painting Okay, my love. So today we are painting the strength card. Now when looking at this, I just, I don't want to play around and do anything too innovative or out of the ordinary. I feel like big cats and women is such a big trope in art. Uh, I have had a few people who've been like, oh, I wanted to paint a big cat and a woman as well, but now I feel like I can't do it because you've done it. No, you guys, big cats and women are a massive trope in art. The artist that comes to mind when I was designing this card was Frank Frazetta. Frank Frazetta is pretty much the forefather of science fiction and fantasy art, having big cats and uh, women together in an art piece is a bit of a signature for him. I know he's had lots of pieces in the past that have had those two tropes together. And for me, I wanted, you know, Frank Frazetta has been such a big influence on my work for years and uh, pretty much all sci-fi from like the 70s and 80s has been a massive influence on me. So I just wanted to, you know, do my own interpretation of it. What does a big cat and woman look like in my world, in Zeke's world? So uh, yeah, let's, let's delve in a little bit further and uh, chat more about the strength card. Hello everyone. All right. Feels like months since I've painted this piece, but it hasn't. It's been like, I think it's been like a solid two weeks since I started this piece with Supernova having a massive disruption to everything. So it takes me a second to like really sink my teeth into a piece because I have to catch up on orders. I'm also trying to update my shop as well. So just a lot of stuff is happening. So I feel like there aren't enough hours in the day for me to like really sink my teeth into painting. Uh, I've done a little bit over the last couple of days. By the way, do you like my new green haze filter? I've got a couple of other filters that I'm trying out. We'll see, you know, it just adds a little bit of like experimentation, something different to look at. 
I am currently working on the body. I was working on the ground quite a lot more, I think two days ago, and I was getting so bored. So I just, I stopped doing that. But my main goal really is to try and have some pretty intense lighting from this side. So it's hard to see right now, but I'm currently trying to build a lot of lightness on this side. So the shadows can be a little bit more prominent uh, just because the shadows on the body that I'm currently working on, I'm trying to make them a little bit more contrasted as well. So that's what I'm like really trying to take away from this piece. I'm trying to work a lot heavier on getting my lighting right. Uh, a lot of the time with my pieces, there is directional lighting in a lot of my work, but it almost comes secondary to like matching tones properly. And there's a lot that goes into the thought process. But for, for me, Right now with this piece, my main concern and what I'm trying to focus on the most is lighting. This piece isn't exactly, uh, I feel like I've painted girls a million times. I think cats and fur seem pretty easy. I've done skies a million times. So I'm just trying to like push myself a little bit more and focus on the lighting portion of it. Uh, I'm really hoping today I can really sink my teeth into really painting. I've got a new docu-series that I'm watching, so Hopefully I can like get into it. Yeah, that's it for me right now. Check in with you soon. So with this card, I took the more traditional route with it. I didn't want to change anything about the card. What the card was trying to say and the visual representation of it, those two things already married perfectly. Why reinvent the wheel? Like I said, I just wanted to see what my interpretation of this trope and this card would be like. Let me just break down exactly what all the symbols in the card traditionally mean. The woman wears a white robe showing her purity of spirit. So this is in reference to the uh, original Rider Waite deck. She's also wearing a belt and a crown of flowers that represent the fullest expression of nature. Over her head is a symbol of infinity representing her infinite potential and wisdom love all the infinity symbols in the tarot deck. I really like symbols in general. I think there's something really mysterious about them. Um, there's so much history and so many symbols that we've carried across. I think it's interesting what symbols have made it into our everyday lives and what haven't. What I needed to put into this card were the woman, some white robes and some kind of creature. Traditionally, it is a lion. I didn't want to do some weird alien creature. I felt like that was not quite right. And I didn't want to do a lion as well, mostly for aesthetic reasons. I wish I could say it's for some other reason that was a little bit more valid. But for me, I think a tiger is just a little bit more exotic and a lot more interesting to look at. Uh, so I don't know. I don't know if that really smashes it in any way or in my research, I didn't find that, you know, swapping them was too disruptive. Uh, I have seen that some people have represented this card with a bear, which I think still works really well, especially if you're going leaning more towards like a folk uh, path with your card, but f with your tarot deck. But for me, I felt like a tiger was like, uh, just because it's such a simple card, it just, it, it needed some more texture, some more pattern. Um, yeah. All right, everybody, I am just waking up, so I look very tired and puffy. So excuse the puffy face, but you know, I am a human. Uh, so today, I uh, this is where I'm up to currently. Get my red haze out of the way. This is where I'm up to at the moment. I was painting these flowers uh, the same color as the tiger, but I felt like there needed to be a bit more variation in the color. Now, sometimes when I do use all reds, sometimes it can get a little bit tricky to figure out uh, how they're really going to look at the end and uh, how light you're going to pull the color. So when you start with the dark base, you kind of have to wing it to see how light 
you're going to make a color. So uh, just as an example, so you can understand, uh, the color that I've used here on this girl is the same color as the tiger. And then in the wing, it's like a more primary red. So it's a bit of a warmer pink. I'm just finding that currently the pink that I've laid down is just clashing a little bit too much. And I just need a bit more variation. I have originally planned a couple of the flowers to be white or to look as white as possible, like pinky white flowers, just because the strength card does need some white garment parts on her but yeah that's what i'm up to today i'm really hoping i can finish the flowers today and her face uh that's really my goal hopefully the next day i can finish the body and then the day after probably the tiger uh yeah i really really want to try and finish this as quickly as possible so let's get to it Good morning, everybody. So yesterday I had a really good day in productivity. Uh, I finally finished the body and the flowers on this lass. Focus. Whatever, you'll see it in a second. Uh, yeah, I've just made really good progress on the piece because uh, prior to that, everything was kind of half done. And usually when I'm in that early stage, I'm like, uh, this is not looking so good. But now that the flowers are in, I'm really liking how much depth there is in the flowers. Uh, and I like how it looks really chaotic. I think especially in the composition, having some like mess and then also lots of like quiet stuff all around it, lots of negative space. It's like a nice balance for me. So today going to make my way through the tiger. I have planned on, like I made a little goal list of every single day. I'm trying to keep really regimented, especially just cause the world is insane right now. So I'm trying to just keep sane by being really productive and trying to stay on track. I can easily fall behind all the time. So I'm hoping We've got, got quite a late start today. So I'm hoping like, yeah, I can get a really good move on today uh, and get really cracking into the tiger. Um, I really want to try and make some like TikTok content with the tiger, but I'm never up for it. This is just an aspirational goal that I have to try and make some TikTok content, but don't know if I'll ever be bothered to be quite frank. We shall see. But yeah, I just, right now I really just want to get stuck into the tiger and like really finish this piece uh, just so I can get a move on with everything else that I need to do in life. Uh, what are some changes? Uh, let me show you. So in the original sketch, this, this piece right here, well, it was originally planned to be a leaf. Uh, when I was rendering it last night, I was like, mm, it's like a bit of a weird angle and just doesn't quite fit right or something. I don't know. I wasn't feeling, I wasn't vibing with the leaf. So I changed it to like, a purple chili, which I really quite like. If I, like anything a little bit more bulbousy kind of feels a little bit more on brand for me because it's weird and juicy and succulenty. So uh, yeah, that's basically one of the only changes so far. And then as soon as I get cracking into the tiger, I can push and pull the bubble background floor. Uh, at the moment, there's not enough like contact with the floor so and the shadows aren't quite right either let me get this back up one more time uh but you can see the darkest point around here and the shadows here need to match the darkest point in uh underneath the tiger as well just so it kind of makes more sense in a practical sense so that's the mindset that i'm in at the moment uh, i've got a mad headache that i'm trying to get rid of uh, so I'm going to try and work through that now. <laughs> mm. 
So let's chat about some interpretations of this card. I feel like for me, it's kind of obvious. Um, for me, the card is about overwhelming female energy, calming and well, I guess like really calming the beast. The card can also mean like knowing yourself is the only way to have true inner strength. I think the feminine energy and like the calmness that comes when you feel unity and true strength, I feel like, I don't know, it's a nice visual metaphor, I guess, like the energy calming the beast. Yeah, no, I just, I needed the card to just have a lot of female energy in it. It was actually quite difficult for me to really tap into that because I feel like a lot of the time I don't have that much female energy. Uh, I don't know, I had to really look at some good examples of female energy that wasn't really corny. I feel like being really tender sometimes like irks me. So I had to really dig deep and try and find the, the right mood and tone for this card. Uh, I'm hoping that their expressions uh, come across a little bit more. Like I did want her to have like a calming feel um, to her and there's a real uh, sense of knowing oneself and she has a lot of confidence in her ability that's really I guess what I'm trying to push the most in this card now the reason why I made her nude is just like with the star uh, when you're nude traditionally in tarot cards it means you have nothing to hide so I just felt like it was pretty appropriate for this card and honestly guys there's really not much else with it it's a very simple straightforward card which I think is exactly why uh, it is possibly going to be pretty popular like it's not convoluted it just goes straight to the point and I think people can understand the energy of the card pretty well uh, but I would love to know exactly what you guys think and what your interpretations of this card are Hello everyone. Whoa, the last couple of days have been such a roller coaster of emotions. I can't imagine there isn't somebody out there who isn't affected by what's happening in the world right now. And I'm sure you're all feeling the exact same way, really uncertain, just the roller coaster of emotions. So that's what I've just been trying to navigate the last couple of days. Um, trust me, when it comes to any world event, I am very aware as somebody who's just another voice uh, on the internet, I'm very aware that I don't want to be yet another person that's stressing you out or, uh, you know, just contributing more to the conversation. Because I'm sure a lot of you are just here because you want to have like a relaxing time. But this is my channel and this is also my life and I do like being as honest with you guys as possible. I'm sure so many of you are artists as well and you're trying to figure out what the next year of your life is going to look like. So um, I don't have any answers, I'm trying to figure that out as well. But yeah, now with this painting, I don't know, I've been feeling like, ah, uh, just art feels so, I, I have like a constant guilt uh, and cycle of guilt of like, my job just feels so frivolous and such a waste of time. And then I go back and I'm like, no, art has a point. It's, you know, having conversations and art being a trigger for community and, bigger topics is important, but uh, it's still, I still can't help but feel like it is such a waste of time in world situations. That's like the cycle that's just been going on in my, in my mind for the last couple of days. Just think of any single meme that you've seen over the last couple of years of people like working but crying while they work that's pretty much been me so now with this piece I'm just associating it with really bad heavy times and I've had to completely stay away from social media because the extra voices have just been on top of my own that's going on in my brain has been exhausting <laughs> the good news is I am very close to finishing this piece I have just like trucked along and stuck through. Uh, I think after years of discipline, I have been really good at like just pushing through, not giving up. Um, I don't give up 
uh, often, but uh, I have given myself the leeway to take a little bit longer with this piece just because I have been incredibly stressed. One more day in this piece. I have to finish the horn, a flower, um, the tail and the hand. So like very little things that just need to be rendered. So um, yeah, um, I can't even like have any final thoughts of how I feel about the piece right now because to me when I see it, I just see like negativity. I think it's incredibly ironic that I'm painting the, the strength card. Uh, I feel like it's taken this card has literally pulled all of my strength from me. Uh, I don't know what that means. Uh, I don't know, I'd love to have your interpretation of that. Uh, I just, I don't know, don't you think it's kind of weird, like kismet that I'm painting the strength card at like such trying times? <sighs> anyway, I am gonna get to it. <laughs> I brushed my hair today. <laughs> She is finished, you guys. She is finished. Yes. Look, are there more things that could be fixed and tweaked? I'm sure. But you know what? Finished is better than perfect. So we're moving on. Oh my gosh, you guys, we did it. We did it, finally. Peace is done. I hope you're enjoying these rainbows. They're truly saving my life right now. There's just something just so magical. I mean, it goes without saying. Weirdly therapeutic. I don't know. They're really, really making me super happy right now. Let me try and lean into it a little bit more. <laughs> yeah, it's finished and uh, I, want to thank you so much for sticking around with this insane weird journey biggest positives that i can take away is um persistence is definitely key you just gotta stick with it really so what else is there to say i just want to move on to the next one i am dying to paint something else right now i'm trying to just appreciate the small things right now so like rainbows and sunshine blue skies. Weirdly, birds chirping is actually, it's something that normally really annoys me, but that kind of normalcy is really nice at the moment, just to know like the sun will rise again tomorrow. Take it a day at a time. I was in the darkest place, the darkest place I've been in in years, to be quite frank. Like, I'm surprised I was even able to get out of bed those couple of days. Um, I hope you guys are all doing really well. Uh, I hope your loved ones are safe. We'll all get through it eventually. And um, I don't know, hopefully at the end of all of this, we learn from it, we come together a lot more as a society. I just hope we have some like big lessons from this. Yeah, thanks for sticking around. I don't know, it feels weird to be like, like and subscribe, but like and subscribe and uh if you want to support your gal in these trying times head over to my shop or patreon i will have them all below here in between videos you can head over to my instagram at zeke lunchbox i will catch you guys in the next video uh let me know what you want to watch suggest it below okay <laughs> chat to you guys later